today it's finally here we're gonna do this messy bun hat that i have been talking about for like a month i'm sure you all are like seriously is she ever gonna make it we're gonna make it okay so i made us some prototypes so that you can see what the finished product is we're actually gonna do it in this color so this is exactly what your hat's gonna look like it has an opening in the top for your bun I'll show you. Actually, you know what? I'll put a little, we'll talk about these tags. We'll talk about these tags, but I also made it in yellow. So if you wanted to see it in another color, all right, here we go. If we haven't met yet, my name is Jamie and I'm with Therapy and Knots. And first things first, I got a little bit of feedback about our uh, desk. You were like, um, hello, that's a black desk with a black mat and you're using black yarn. So what I did is I headed over to Amazon and I bought us a new mat and I am trying to unwrap it. It's going to take us 16 minutes to unwrap this, but I wanted to show you my find and I'll also will put the link down below. So if you are interested in finding a mat, or your own desk. This is actually a mouse pad, but it makes it really nice because it keeps all of your material on the desk and things don't roll around. So if you have that issue, this is a really nice option. Okay, it's coming, I promise. But it's pretty cheap. But anyways, this is what it is. It is like a mat that rolls out onto your desk and it will hold everything in place. All right, let me get our material. Okay, I've grabbed my crochet bag and I'm gonna pull out exactly what we need for this product. What's really cool about this hat is it doesn't really take a whole lot of yarn at all. You need one of these. So again, my favorite is Lion Brand. It doesn't matter what brand you get, but the key to this is, is that you wanna get that chunky yarn. I'm trying to find it on here where it tells you exactly right there. It's a number six, super, I hope that is, ooh, super bulky. You can get it any color that you want. Um, and I particularly got this one if you have a Myers nearby you, that's where I got this one. And I will put a link down below so that you can get you know more of a description or you could order it online. Can we say Amazon Prime? Okay, all right. So what else in my bag? I'm gonna go get my little pencil box. Remember I got this thing for like a buck. Don't go to the dollar store and get yourself, you can get all your supplies super cheap with this hobby. So in here, what I'm gonna wanna do is grab myself a crochet hook, which I do not have in this box, but I will get it here in a second. You are gonna need a pair of those trusty safety scissors. You are gonna need a tapestry or yarn needle. Remember these come in all kinds of different ways that you can get them. I'll show you what my favorite is though, but you can get these in metal or you can get them in various shades of plastic, but this little dude that is my favorite. I'll put a link down below for that one too. But all of this stuff you can get at your local craft stores, but I'll put the link for Amazon so that you can at least read and get a little bit more information. Okay, so let me go find my yarn, or not my yarn, my crochet needle. One of the things that I was able to find on Amazon is these kits. I'm gonna say Amazon 16 times, so sorry. I like Amazon. Am I the only one that it's like, packages just kind of show up and then you can't remember what you ordered? It's a problem. All right, so this right here, holds everything that I could possibly want with this, um, with doing my crocheting. And it's nice because it zips all up and then I have everything that I need. So the last thing that I have right behind me, we need a pattern. Now what I show you, girl, you can read this. I wrote this pattern out, but I made it nice and pretty for you guys. So you can either pull off the uh, pattern off of the website, or if you want a PDF that is like all nice, everything's together, you can print it out, put it in a binder and have it all in one place. I'll have an option for that too. But for us, we are going to actually just use my notes, which look, <laughs> that's scary. All right. So I'm going to go find me an 8.0 millimeter hook. Oh, uh, let's go see that. I believe that it is red, but we'll find out. This little hook seems to be my absolute favorite. Again, remember hooks come in all different types of sizes and make out of material. You can get the metal ones, you can get the plastic ones, you can get the ones that have the handle on the end. You as a crocheter have to figure out what works best for you. I will tell you out of all of these, these metal ones are my favorite. I don't like the ones with the handles because I like to be able to have freedom to put my loops anywhere along the hair. And I like these because um, I feel like the loops don't get stuck on it as much like this tends to work its way out. So I'm going to get everything all together and we're going to, oh, 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 I forgot the most important part. You are going to need some ponytail holders. I got this whole container, like, I mean, go, I'm telling you, go to the dollar store and you can get, you don't want the plastic kind, you want the, um, this kind, right? The material kind. And you're going to want two for this first project. All right, let me get all my stuff spaced. This white mat, that's a game changer. Hmm. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna need, I like to use 
two of these up in the top of the hat. That way if one should happen to break, oh, I'm moving you guys all around. In case one of them ends up breaking, you know, you have that extra support. So what this does, we are gonna make this hat what they call from the top down, or here's the front of it, from the top down. So this first part up top, this is where two elastic bands are that we're gonna start our yarn and we're also gonna crochet in what they call rounds. Again, top down. All right, so what I'm gonna do is find the beginning of my yarn. Let's see what we got here. And I'm gonna grab my crochet needle and I'm going to make a slip knot at the top here. I leave just a little bit of a tail to weave in to the hat. Um, it doesn't have to be anything really long and really, this is probably a little extra long, but that's okay. So the hardest part with this particular project is just getting started. So you're gonna grab these two here and you're gonna slide your needle through both. You're gonna yarn over and you're gonna make your first chain stitch. And what this is doing, oh, I can get it in there. See, this is the tricky part. I'm kind of glad that it did that. So let's start over here again. So we're gonna come in, come through both of them, yarn over and slide it through. Okay, so what that did is it now attached my yarn, I have it attached to my hook and to my two little ponytail holders. So in our pattern, now that we have that first one on there, I'm gonna chain one, just to give myself a little bit of height here. And then I'm going to start to do half double crochets all the way around in a circle. And we're gonna end up putting 12 on here. So to do that half, half double crochet, we're gonna yarn over, and then you're going to actually stick your needle through both of these again. So yarn over, stick it through both of them, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. So what that did is it created your first half double crochet on your little loopy thing. So that was one, we're gonna do that again. So yarn over through the center of both of your elastic ties, yarn over, pull through. We have three circles, we pull all the way through. So let's do one more time and then I'll speed us up just a little bit, okay? So yarn over through both loops, Yarn over, purl it through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so that right there is three on here and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this so that it's all the way around with 12 and I'll be right back. So, so far I have 10 on here and you see that I'm kind of running out of room with my loop. So all I'm gonna do is gently pull that loop down and squeeze the, those other stitches together. So that was 10, this is gonna be 11 and 12. All right, so now what we need to do, because again, we're working in rounds, I need to connect this stitch to our first stitch that we did. So you're gonna find your V, no back stitch, no front stitch. This is gonna go through the entire stitch. So find your first V and stick your hook through. You're gonna yarn over and then pull through that other loop. So this is our slip stitch. And now we have done our first round all the way around. Now to make a hat, we gotta make that circle even bigger. So if we just did one stitch again, we'd end up with this little tiny circle. So we're gonna wanna increase our stitches on this next round. So I'm gonna chain one, and I'm gonna find that first V, let me see if I can get that in the camera for you, right here, and I'm gonna go through both, through both of the front and the back loop, and I'm going to do two half double crochets inside of that same loop, okay? So I'm gonna yarn over, go through that loop, yarn over, pull through, I have three, I'm gonna pull all the way through. Now I'm gonna do that exact same thing again in that same loop that we just went in, okay? So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, yarn over all three. So we've created two half double crochets inside of that same stitch. I'm gonna do this all the way around. So what that's gonna end up giving me, if you're a counter, is 24 half double crochets all the way around. So I'm gonna get there and I will meet you right over here to connect. Hang tight. Okay, so I've made it to all the way around the circle and again, I'm gonna to wanna to connect. So you're gonna find your first V, there it is right there, and I'm gonna connect with a slip stitch. So I'm gonna go through both of those loops, yarn over, pull through, and then tuck that yarn underneath this. 
and we're going to chain one. We always chain one at the beginning of every round on this pattern. Now, what you see here is our circle got a little bit bigger. So we're going to make a hat that is for, I don't know, let's say 14 and up. So probably teenager to a medium size adult is what this hat, this hat also is very forgiving in size um, just because it, it looks chunky. So you can get away with the hat being a little bit bigger. We're going to increase this one more time so that we end up with a circle. We'll see how it ends up being, but about this big. And so what that does is, again, makes that size that we're looking for. If you were looking for something just a little bit smaller, so maybe, I don't know, five to eight years old, you may want to stop here and not increase the next round. But let's stick with making a hat for our own head for right now, and we're going to go one more time. Okay, so to do that, this time we're going to go one and two one and two. Now I'll show you what that means. So this first loopy loop, so you're going to find your next V, you're going to yarn over and do a half double crochet and you're going to do one of them. And then in the next stitch, in the next stitch, you're going to give me two half double crochets. So we're going to come in here, we're going to pull that through and you're going to give me one more. And then you're going to go back and you're going to do one in the next stitch. So back, give me one, Next stitch, you're going to do two. Now you're going to work this same pattern all the way around the loop. If you're a counter, this is going to end up with 36 total stitches of half double crochets. Again, one and then two. Once you work a couple of these hats, you'll get to the point where you don't have to count. You can kind of just feel like where you're going around here. I usually just count the pattern that I'm at, like the ones and the twos types of things. Um, but other than that, I'm not, I don't really count the stitches. So I really like this yarn. It's very forgiving. Even if you kind of forget a loop, it's, it's, it kind of hides itself well. And two. All right. So I'm going to work my way all the way around and I'll show you at the end. Okay. So I've made it all the way around. I'm going to join it with that stitch. Remember, we're going to look for that first V. So right there, I'm going to slide my needle through. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, and this is a slip stitch. So I'm going to slide it through. And then you're going to give me, oh, that was all kinds of crazy. Then you're going to give me one chain. So at this point, we're done increasing our hat. Um, at this point, this is 36, 36 stitches all the way around, and that's going to be our count from here on out. And we're going to basically just build this. But as we do, it's going to form more of that hat shape versus expanding out. We're going to end up getting it where it comes in. So at this point, we're going to do 36 stitches all the way around, and we're going to do that for eight more rows. So this is where are we at? So we did our chain. So that was one, two, three. So we're going to do four through. Oh my goodness. I can't do math today. Okay. Just start here and give me eight rows. <laughs> All right. Hang tight. Okay. So at this point, I'm two rows in out of my eight and you can already start to see that it's forming a little bit more of um, a rim around or more of that hat shape. So I'm going to keep going and I'll check in here in just a moment. Okay, now we're at five out of eight, and the, I mean, it's really taken on some shape. So I'm gonna come and do three more, and then I'll show you what we do to finish this up. Okay, we're getting down to the last few rows. So I have joined this, and I'm going to chain one. And now what I'm going to do is a single chain all the way around. So to do that single chain, we're gonna find your first stitch, your first V, I'm gonna stick through both. Yarn over, pull through. You have two on your hook. Yarn over, pull all the way through. Again, single chain, yarn through, yarn over, yarn over, pull all the way through. Now I'm gonna do this all the way around. So if that stitch was being finicky, try that one one more time. That's the beauty of crochet. You can just stop and pull it out and fix it. It's beautiful ever. So again, I am trying to do a half double crochet. That's the only thing that's bad. You gotta shift gears for a second. I'm gonna make my way all the way around and then I'll show you what's next. So this last row is really optional, but I'm going to tell you why I do it. We're actually going to do a slip stitch in every one of these stitches all the way around because what it does is, is it brings the hat in just a little bit, makes you almost like you have a, a rim of the hat to go around your head and so you don't end up with your hat rolling out. Instead, it, it holds its shape a little bit better. So like when you when you have your this last little tiny row, it's not going to add a whole lot of height, but again, it's just going to add a little bit more structure to your hat. So with this, I have combined I have joined my round and I have done a chain one stitch and what I'm going to do is find my next stitch, 
yarn over and instead of yarning over again like we did with that single chain this is the one where we just slide oh hello let's get in there so we slide under and over right so I'm going to do this all the way around until I get to the very end and then I will meet you there and we'll see the next steps okay so we're down to the last little bit so I'm going to pull this through to give myself enough of a tail that I can weave it through the hat so I'm going to cut this and then I'm gonna pull from my yarn, pull all the way down. And then I'm gonna take this little thing. So we have two, well, if you have a tag, you have three, but we're gonna have, oh, look at that nail. We're gonna have at least two housekeeping items that we're going to do here. First things first, we're gonna weave in this in. I'm gonna go get my tapestry needle. Again, remember you can get whatever kind that you like the best. I'm gonna slide that yarn through the end of here. And then what I'm going to do is weave this piece of thread through the inside of here. So you wanna be careful that you don't see it on the outside, so just grab your inside loops. Again, all I'm doing is just finding some inside loops to kinda of hide this yarn down in here. There is no rhyme or reason for how or what loops that I am picking. I am literally just kind of working myself down into the center of this hat down in here. Okay. I go in, what, that's probably two, three inches. I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna use my scissors to cut. Be careful that you don't cut your hat. Cut that little strip off and set that to the side. Now you do have one other thread that you need to weave in. So all I did is take the hat and turn it inside out. I'm gonna grab this little piece here and again, I'm going to, actually I'm gonna cut the edge off of it here so that we can get it through our tapestry needle. I just kind of wind the ends of that around in my fingers and then slide it through here. Exact same process on this. I'm just finding me some loops to pick from the inside of the hat. Winding my way down. No rhyme or reason. This Nobody sees this, so you don't have to be fancy in what this looks like. So again, take myself down just like two, three, two and a half inches. Cut just a little bit to pull that off. All right, so at this point, you're technically done with your hat, but if you want to talk about adding a tag, what I do is I purchase these tags off of Etsy. Um, there are some small shops that make these amazing tags, and I'll put the description down in this video of where you can, and I'll put it on the blog post. That way, if you wanna go get your own made, and they really are. I have two different stores that I purchased from and both, they're just, they're absolutely amazing. But you can get anything you want on there um, and then you just let them know like if you want it, which way you want it facing. My hats sometimes have rims like this and so I'll ask them to make it so that I can use the tag either way. Okay, enough rambling. So let me find my pieces. <laughs> my little bag. All right, so in here, we are going to need a tag. So let's find one tag here. They came like this, just in a little bag. So I'm just gonna grab one. They're made out of leather. And then I purchased these rivets off of Amazon. And I will also put the links for these down here. What I like about these, they're not the punch rivets. They actually screw on. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna grab one, one of the top and one of the bottom that and then I'm gonna go find my little baby screwdriver I don't know what I did with that let's see here it might be in here yes I have a little tiny baby screwdriver okay so on your hat what you're gonna want to do is find where your seam is because that's gonna be kind of the back of your hat so I'm just gonna kind of rotate this around until I find my seam the good thing about this yarn is it's sometimes hard to tell where it is but you will see it um, See that line? Oh, my finger can't go there. That's the line, that's your seam. So you want that in the back of your hat. So I just lay that down, lay my hat down. Again, we got that nice curve and got that edge there. So I'm gonna take the back of this through the back of my tag. Oops, wrong way. There we go. So I'm just gonna put the back there and I'm going to pull this up into one of just the natural holes from the, the pattern in the crochet. And I'm gonna put the top on. And again, it's like a, a little screw. Well, it's not like it is, it's it's a screw. It's gonna screw down into this rivet. So I use my fingers just to kind of get it started. Um, I just find that that's the easiest. Get that material all down on there and then just use your fingers to kind of gently get it going. 
and then, oh, you're gonna hear Bren bark. And then I grab, that's probably an Amazon box. I shouldn't say that. Oh, this is gonna be like 15 minutes to me trying to get this little rivet thing on. And then we just screw it all the way down till it can't go anymore. I don't like the punch ones cause it like takes, I, I just, I can't, I cannot figure out that little tool. This thing's pretty nice because you just, once you get it going, it's it's actually very, very easy. Okay, so our little tag is on. Again, I'll put all the information down below. Now, I'm going to go grab Sid and see if she will help me show you how to put on a bun hat. All right, stay tuned. Okay, she's coming, but she has to brush her hair because she's going to be on camera. But what I wanted to show you is, is you can totally wear this just like as a regular beanie. You don't you don't have to do this whole little bun thing. But I do want to show you some, kind of like some tips and tricks on what you can do to get this like this on your head. So first things first, what I'm going to have her do is actually turn the hat inside out like this. <laughs> and then you're going to put your hand through the center of it so that you're like this and you're going to grab your ponytail. Okay, she's going to show you. Hold on just a second. Okay, so you're going to turn your hat inside out. In inside out. Already. Inside out. Nope, it's not inside out. I know it doesn't look like it is, but inside out. And then you're gonna stick your hand through the center of the hat, remember, like this. You wanna pull your hair up in your ponytail first? I'll do it with this. Okay, flip it over. Well, they can't see you. There we go. She's making her little ponytail. And then I'm gonna let you do this. Remember, you stick your hand through it. You gotta, you gotta get it. How do you do it? And then you slide, slide it through there. I'm gonna show you why. Come here. Oh, there we go. Sink down, sink down. There we go. Slide your ponytail through. <laughs> And then you take your hat and you fold it down the other way. I promise it's not usually this hard. We're making it complicated. <laughs> okay. All right. And then you can take your hair and make yourself, Ooh. you can do it. Well, that's a look. <laughs> but you can leave your ponytail up top or you can make it as a bun. It's really your choice. Okay. Okay, she says, hold on, we got to finish it. My hair's a mess now. It's okay. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. What's wrong with that? And then, and then your twinsies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is for a chunky hat. Thank you, Sydney, for joining us. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Go check out the blog post. It'll have the pattern for you. Or you can go and get one that's a PDF, and you can just download it and save it in your binder. All right. Go be awesome, guys.